what's up you guys lately I have been kind of in a rut in terms of like videos I want to film mostly because Arthur has been out of town so my cameraman here I go again on my swivel chair my cameraman has been gone but now my cameraman is back so prepare for some cooler videos coming in anyways Today I am going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos and this is something sort of a a newer way that I've been editing so I figured I would share it with you guys and you guys can copy me I really don't care or you can be like <clears throat> or you can be like whoa this girl edits her photos like every other girl in which case you're damn right so if you would like to see how I edit my Instagram photos keep on watching Alright, so to show you guys how I edit my photos, I'm just going to pick basically a random photo in my giant album of selfies. So we're going to go with this one that I took a few weeks ago, and the first thing that I do when I find the photo is I always favorite it because it's much easier to find, and then I open Bisco Cam or Bisco whatever. And then I can easily just tap favorites, and then all of my favorite photos will be right there, hence the favorites. It's a genius invention, I swear. And I use the filter A6 for every single one of my photos and then I will just play around with how strong I want the filter to be and how uh, much contrast it adds to my photo because some it's really intense and others it's not. it's not. Once I have it all filtered out, I'll just save it to my camera roll and then open it in Facetune. And this is probably my favorite part. I'll just take the white tool in Facetune and I'll just color in basically any background that's white, any white t-shirt that I'm wearing, any bedding that's white, anything to make the whites really pop because that's sort of my aesthetic on my Instagram and I think it looks really great and it looks really professional. And sometimes I just color away so much until the edge of my finger starts to feel kind of burnt from coloring for so long. But it's pretty simple. So once I'm done, I'll open up Afterlight. And I only use Afterlight for one thing these days, and I use the sharpening tool because it has sort of a dial that you can really adjust how sharp you want it. I don't like Visco Cam's sharpening tool because it seems to not really... Oh, there's Emily. Sorry. I love her. And then I just play around with it and see how I want it to be on my photo. Sometimes I like to zoom in and make it a close-up on a certain part of my face, and other times I'll just want the entire photo like I did now. And that is honestly pretty much it. So that is how I edit my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's pretty simple. I use a lot of different apps to get different sort of tools because they don't, I don't let, they all have the same tools, but they don't work the same way. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>